Hey babe, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. thanks. Good. I'm going out tonight, all right? And uh, I need Are a you? bit. Yeah, I need a bit of money. Well, so you didn't mention that you was going out. Do I have to? Well, it, it's nice if you tell me what you're doing. Okay. Well, look. Anyway, can you lend me fifty quid just for tonight? Well, yeah. Where are you going? Ah. That's not really an answer, is it? Look, I'm just going out with my mates. You don't. You, know, oh, what you don't need to know my every movement. What can makes, you just lend me fifty quid, please? What makes you going out with? Sorry. What makes? Why? Well, because you know sometimes what happens, you don't come home. So what? What's, what's the problem? Well, it's not very nice. You're too sensitive. Can you just lend me 50 quid? Come on, because I ain't got much time. Go have a shower, get myself dressed and get out. No. What do you mean, no? No, I'm not going to lend you any money. <coughs> don't be so stupid. Just leave 50 quid on the side. Well, you're asking me if I'm going to lend you money. You give me a choice. And I've said no. I don't see why I should say yes when you won't even tell me where you're going, so no, I'm not going to lend you money. Look, I don't argue about this. Leave me the 50 quid. That's a demand. I don't care what it fucking is. Can you leave me the 50 quid? No. I was listening to something online and it was, is it a demand or a request? And a request means I can say no. I don't remember the last time I was allowed to say no. I don't want an argument. All right, it's simple. Just leave me the fucking money. Bottom line, I'm going out with my mates. You don't need to know where I'm going. You don't need to know who I'm with. Just leave me the 50 quid. That's it. No. What do you mean you're saying no? Well, I, I need that money for tomorrow. What for? Well, so you can go and spend more of my money. Well, where's your money? Look, it don't matter where my money is. Just leave me 50 quid. No, you can go to the check crash point on your way out. I haven't got time to do that. Look, last time I lent you money, I didn't get it back for weeks and weeks and weeks, and I, I, I was really short of money. And all is, you, is, that you... our, is that how our, our, our relationship works then? Well, you don't want to tell me where you're going. So, you, so, so I need to tell you where I'm going, I need to give you money back on a certain day. No, I'm not saying is that, that. Is that how it works now? Well, I'm still saying no. Just look, don't give me all your bullshit. Just leave me the 50 quid. I need to go out tonight. I need to get away from you for a night, if anything. So can you just leave me the 50 quid, please? You're bullying me. No, I'm not going to do it. Jesus Christ. This is bullying. <sighs> you don't know what bullying is, love. Trust me. Well, I do know what bullying is. What about you bullying me? Oh, listen, I'm five foot three. And how tall are you? You're six foot three? No, but you're dictating whether I can go out and meet No, I'm not night. dictating. Yeah, you are. Why can't you so ask... what are you doing then? Why can't you ask them for money? I'm asking my wife. Well, I'm saying no. I never say no to you because I don't like your temper when I say no. You broke all I that. You broke that. Fucking temper. You... What you broke the table last time I said no. You don't know what a temper is. What? I can show you what a temper is, but why do we have to go down that route all the time? Why do you have to wind me up, bait me? Why do you have to do that? I'm not baiting you. I've Here just you said are. no. So what are you doing then? What are you doing now? I'm just not agreeing to your demands. This isn't a demand. I'm just telling you to leave me the 50 quid. Why don't you go out a couple of nights later when you've got 50 quid and you don't have to borrow it from me? Look, give me the 50 quid. And then, I don't know, fucking... If you start... Look, your mother's got plenty of money. She'll give you 50 quid. I'm not going to discuss my mother with you. Why not? Well, because I had quite a long chat with your mother on the phone today, to be honest. Yeah. And it, she really upset me. Did she? Why? What did she say this time? Well, I was talking to her about this narcissist thing. Oh, uh, here we go. And she was um, really quite sort of um, upset when I explained it to her. Yeah. And I think that... Do you understand about narcissism? Look, this is all a load of bollocks. And why was you talking to my mum in the first place? Well, because I was reading that narcissists... It, then It's not genetic. It's it, It's... Where have you got this it shit from? from you just, make it up as you go it, along. I don't make it up. I, I'm doing a lot of research and I'm doing a lot of reading. So is this how you spend your days? Well, I've joined a few groups that are trying to help. Groups? Me. Groups, yeah. Just chat groups online. They're not, you know, I'm not meeting anybody. What is it, a bunch of imbeciles all sitting what? around talking about how their husbands don't do enough for them, is that it? Well, you don't know if it's just females in the group, do you? No, it's always women. Well, no, because there can be female narcissists as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, look. And, uh, listen, look, I think your dad, this is where it's come from. Your mum has been a victim. Hey. I'm a victim. Hey. You know what? Now watch your fucking mouth. All right? Don't bring my family into it. 
All right. I'm just talking to you. That my I've... dad was my fucking hero. Now let's leave it at that. A hero? What? Didn't he beat you as a kid? Wait. No. And you got no fucking right to say that either. You didn't get your ankle, ankle, ankles and dangle them over the banisters because you said no to him. Do you know what? Go fuck yourself. You got no right to talk about my dad like that. My dad was a good man. He was a bully, and you're a bully. And your mum was telling me all the times that she said no to your dad. And there's been furniture broken. Um, he smashed the windscreen of a car once. Yeah. Um, he. Did he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So you believe my mum, do you? Well, you've always said she's honest. <clears throat> it sounds like to me you've been manipulating my mother into agreeing with everything you say. No, I actually this feel is what sorry you do. for your mum. Yeah, I feel sorry for you. Well, I feel sorry for me and your mum. I don't feel sorry for you. Well, you certainly... Well, actually... You certainly don't love me. Oh, you always throw that I don't love you. But, what, because we're having a discussion? No, look... This isn't a discussion. Oh, but it is. No, it's not. You're going to leave me the 50 quid and then I'm going out. And this will be the last time you ever mention my dad as well. Why is that? Because it's got nothing to do with nothing to do with this. This is just you just playing games again. You don't want to leave me the money. No. Just being a silly bitch again, isn't you? I do feel full so of talk, researching online, thinking I, you know it all, I self diagnosing, do. talking to my mother, I do. digging, manipulating my mother into saying what you want her to agree with. Well, it sounds like you actually. That, what are you talking about? Manip you're trying to put me off guard of what I'm trying to say. And do you know what? I know you're angry and I know you don't like the no word because every time I say no to you, you get really explosive. But, 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 I feel really sorry for you because if this has what? been how you've been brought up. What did you say? I said I feel really sorry for you. Sorry for me? Yeah, because it's tragic. You feel sorry for me? Yeah, I do. I mean, you had a terrible right, upbringing. shut the fuck up, right? Because now you're getting out of line. What, because I've got right. an opinion? No, you're talking absolute bollocks. You don't know what you're talking about. I wish I had a pound for every time you said the bollocks right. word. You're getting out of line, you're getting out of your tree, and you need to back down. Why? Because now you're crossing the line. You're bringing me father into it, you're bringing me mother into well, it, you... and you... Shut up. I ain't finished. Right? <sighs> this is all about you, your own insecurities. Talking with your friends, making it all up as you go along. You live in a little dream world. You don't know half of the stuff what you're talking about, and you've crossed the line. Oh. Now, there's an easy way to solve this. Just leave me the 50 quid, I can get out your head tonight, leave you be, then you can talk a load more shit with your new support group, okay? Would Tell them what a bad support? husband I am. I didn't say that. Tell them how I haven't made a home Look. for you. Tell them how I haven't given so you, you children. You talk over so, me. Because all you talk is rubbish. Well, that's you your... moan. You, you 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 feel sorry for yourself, and do you know what? You I feel, do sorry feel sorry for me. For I feel sorry for you because you're sad and you're lonely, and no one really cares about you. I'm the only ever, one that's ever showed an interest. Well, it sounds like it. I mean, look, you've let yourself go. Oh, you not don't this care again. about your looks. I mean, I you know, but I'm still here. Day. I'm still here. You didn't here. even know. I this. still come home every night. I'm come, I know. I, come I home bought a new you. dress, and you didn't even say a word. You didn't even. When was the last time you said I look nice? Well, you have been spending a lot of money lately. Maybe I never said anything because I'm fed up of having to pay for stuff. No, actually, that was the money I went to work for. Was it? Uh, you yeah. Do a day's work. Don't make me die. Where do I go then? Well, most of the time, probably around your own. And mothers. I'm only looking at. And actually, you want to talk about family. You want to talk about my mother and how she was a victim. Well, what about yours? Well, I'm not saying my mum wasn't. I'm not denying that, and I'm I'm looking into that. And do you know what I've been thinking? That I think that my you're... dad never liked your mother. You know that. I'm not going to get into that with you. Oh, but you can talk about my. I'm not being nasty about my mother. My dad. No, never I'm not liked... saying anything bad my about you. My dad never liked your mother. We don't like anyone. Does he? Tell me who he likes. Well, he, he likes don't me, like you. No. And what? he don't like you. That's, do you know what? That's and he what... told me I shouldn't marry her. He said you'd leave me nothing but a dog's life in the ear all the time. He said you oh, was woof, a moaner. He said you was a moaning bitch then. Do you know what? I'm so all. glad I haven't had children with you. Do you know what? I don't want fucking kids with you. Probably barren anyway. Well, that's neither here nor there. Um, but Why would I want a kid from you? Well, well I wouldn't want a kid that's going to grow up being abused. And Abused by him. Well, who do you think? 
And you know what else I've been listening to? I think that you purposely selected me because a narcissist looks for a victim and they groom them. And I remember before I started going out with you, you Do asked you know, all my friends about me. someone could hear this conversation, they would know why. And they'd understand What, you'd be it. justified? Well, you have hit me before. But let's not go down that road. Yeah, but you was out of line. What? Because I said no. And I'll beat you for less than what you just said to me about my old man. Well, I'm grateful that you're keeping your temper then, aren't I? Well, it ain't beyond the realms of possibility that you're going to get a smack if you carry on. Just leave me the 50 quid. No. Leave me the 50 quid or pay the consequence. Is that a threat? Take it out your well, money. What, what, are you gonna do? what are you going to do? Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and get the 50 quid out of your purse right now. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm going out with my mates and you can go I, fuck yourself. I wouldn't yourself. do that if I was you. Yeah, what are we going to do? Well, I don't We're know. We're going to call the old bill, are you? Because you ain't done that before, have you? No, but it's not something... Well, I, listen, I don't want to get them involved because... <laughs> no, you don't. That's, a, that's, a, that's probably the smartest thing you've said. And I don't want to get you into trouble with work either. No, well... But I won't be threatened. I'm not threatening you. Well, do you know what? I'm going to go and get the 50 quid. And then you can phone up your friends and tell them what a bad husband I am. I really don't give a fuck. But this will be the last time you ever talk about my father. Are we well, clear? Why are you are so... Are we clear? Well, you can say... Are we clear? Well, I'm just going to keep researching. Well, you do what you got to do to get by. But if you... What would you be like if I took 50 quid out of your pocket? Oh, you have done. No, no, I haven't done that. You've been drunk and, and then the past. you've promised me money. You can't gone out. But I'm not like you. I don't bring stuff up. But money's been missing in the past. You think I'm stupid? But you do bring up stuff from the past, and I do think that you've groomed me. I think you asked all those the people. The other day, I you told me you was going to Tesco's. Why was you? Why, why, why did you go to John Lewis's? I didn't. He did on Thursday afternoon. I didn't. I was passing by in the van. I saw you. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. What was you doing? Anyway, no, you didn't. I'm, you're just winding me up. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm not... I'm sorry. What? Whose money was you spending then? I, um... bet if I, I bet when the credit card comes through, I bet it was my money you were spending. And I don't see anything new around the house, so what was you doing in there? Well, what do you think I was doing in there? I don't know, meeting a bloke. Oh, yeah, because I'd meet a bloke in there, wouldn't I? I wouldn't put it past you. Look, I'm, you could be meeting a woman for all I know. Oh, please do me a favour. As if i got time to meet women. All I do is work. That seems to be your art. But I tell you what, all that work you're doing, you're not managing managing your money very well, no, are you? Just give me the 50 quid. No. You will give me the 50 quid. Otherwise, I will just take it. Well, if you do that, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, right. I'm going to think of something. Well, really... you'll have to figure it out because I'm taking the money. I've got to go now. I ain't even got time to have a bath. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hey babe, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. thanks. Good, I'm going out tonight, alright? And uh, I need Are a you? bit, yeah, I need a bit of money. Well, so, you didn't mention that you was going out. Do I have to? Well, it, it's nice if you tell me what you're doing. Okay, well look, anyway, can you lend me 50 quid just for tonight? Well, yeah? Where are you going? Out. That's not really an answer, is it? Look, I'm scaring out of my mates. You don't, you know, oh, you what don't need to know my every movement. What can makes... you just lend me 50 quid, please? What makes you going out with? Sorry? What makes? Why? Well, because you know sometimes what happens, you don't come home. So what? What's, what's the problem? Well, it's not very nice. You're too sensitive.